His Excellency, the Vice President of Republic of Ghana, Dr. Alaji Baumia. Your Excellency, Mr. Robert B. Jackson, the Ambassador of the United States of America to Ghana. Honorable Wilbur Roos, U.S. Secretary of Commerce, the Senior Minister of Ghana, Honorable Osafo Mafo, members of the Council of State, Honorable members and Deputy Ministers, Honorable members of Parliament, Your Excellencies, members of the Diplomatic Corps, Togbio, Mamao, Nananum, traditional and religious leaders, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It gives me a great pleasure and honor to join the American community today and to respond to the toast proposed by His Excellency Robert P. Jackson, Ambassador of the United States of America to Ghana, on the occasions of the independence anniversary of the United States of America. This day marks the 61st years of fruitful diplomatic relations between our two countries. On these auspicious occasions of 242nd Independence Day of the United States of America, I wish to extend on behalf of His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Adodankwa Akufuado, and the Government of the People of Ghana, fraternal greetings and warm felicitations to President Donald J. Trump, the President of America, and to the Government and friendly people of the United States of America. Your Excellency, let me seize this opportunity to express my appreciation to you for the kind words said about Ghana, which is an illustration of the strong bonds on friendship and cooperation between our two countries for quite a very long time. Indeed, the excellent relations between Ghana and the U.S., which dates back to Ghana's independence, is based on shared history of friendships and mutual commitment to democracy, accountability, rule of law, good governance, and respect for human rights and rule of law. The relations were raised much higher when our president, His Excellency Nana Adudankwa Akufuado, was accorded a rare opportunity of being the first African president to address the National Governors Association in Washington, D.C. in February this year, 2018. It was during that interaction which the president reiterated Ghana's commitment to collaborate with the U.S. to fight terrorism and also to promote human rights across the globe. May I also join Your Excellency in extending a warm welcome to the Secretary of State, Wilbur Rose. His presence in Ghana is a great demonstration of the world of relationship that exists between our two countries. Such a high-level visit, as you are all aware, help to deepen and stimulate dialogue at both bilateral and multilateral levels, and also to address common challenges that face the two countries. In this regard, I wish to state that the U.S. continues to be a faithful ally in our building and maintenance of robust multi-party democracy and strong economy. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, if we do have something else in common with the people of America, it is a fact that the respective government have been consistently committed to the use of private sector as a driving force to transformation and also to see to the welfare of people within both countries. Creating jobs and ultimately promoting economic growth for our people is a common agenda between the two countries. In this context, His Excellency, it may be noted that economic relationships between our two countries are robust and have been characterized by forging of solid business ventures and exchanges mostly within the private sector, the latest of which is the effective collaboration that paved the way for many, many American franchises to invest in our country, Ghana. As rightly noted by the Ambassador Jackson, 
The United States remains one of Ghana's principal trading partners with a volume of two-way trade between the two increasing from $1.2 billion to $1.6 billion in 2017. More importantly, Ghana is taking advantage of extensions of the Agua Initiative to 2025 to increase its exports significantly by 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, Ghana is open for business and a new type of partnership that places emphasis on value addition to our raw materials for export. We invite the U.S. private investors to exploit mutually beneficial investment opportunities in areas of agriculture, petroleum, infrastructure development, as well as production and explorations of our mineral resources with a high level of concentrations on value addition through public-private partnership regimes. The presence of multinational companies such as the Newmont Mining Corporations, the Millennium Challenge Corporations, and the ExxonMobil in Ghana speaks volumes about the level of interactions that we have with each. And it's also an illustrative of the business-friendly environment between the government of Ghana and that of the United States of America. Why we seek investors to invest in Ghana, it is also important to highlight the fact that as part of His Excellency the President's vision to move Ghana beyond aid, we are committed to moving beyond the old tradition as we as a country lay a solid foundation for the economic transformation necessary to take us of dependencies of self-reliant economy. In this regard, Ghana welcomes and acknowledges the support from the United States of America, the government towards the realizations of Ghana Beyond Aid Initiative, which as explained by His Excellency, the President of the Republic, Nana Adodankwa Akufuado, envisages a prosperous and self-confident Ghana that is in charge of her own economic destiny and transform Ghana that is prosperous enough to be beyond needing aid and that engages competitively with the rest of the world through trade investment promotion. Meanwhile, the committee commissioned by His Excellency the President in June 28 to develop the charter in respect of the initiative is expected to come out with guidelines and roadmap for the implementation shortly. Your Excellency, we believe that moving forward, this will inform our engagement with our development partners. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, invited ladies and gentlemen, I wish to convey the special gratitude of the U.S. government for this continual assistance to Ghana in various sectors of our economy and its numerous initiatives and programs, particularly in areas of health, education, poverty alleviation, just to mention a few. As alluded already to by the Ambassador Jackson, these programs and initiatives have over the years contributed immensely to the growth and development of our economy, as well as in developing the leadership and entrepreneurial skills of our Ghanaian youth. You may also wish to know that under the leadership of the Ministry of Business Development, the President of the Republic, Nana Adudankwa Akufu Ado, on 25th of June 2018, launched a very wonderful business ideas that, ideas that competition for presidential pitch. This aim or business idea is aimed at realizing the government ambitions of helping unleash an entrepreneurial revolution in this country. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the deepening of our relationship has witnessed an increase in people-to-people -people interactions at all levels across this country. The increased number of U.S. tourists to Ghana and vice versa, as well as the growing student exchange programs and collaborations between Ghanaian and U.S. universities have led to strengthening of institutions as well as cultural links. We cherish these collaborations and also encourage the U.S. citizens to visit Ghana and vice versa. Let me seize this moment to thank the U.S. government and the embassy for the recognition given me and the celebrations of life of compatriot, private first class Emmanuel Mensa, who laid down his life for others during the unfortunate New York fire disaster. May his gentle soul continue to rest in perfect peace.
Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Novinia Daka Kuyokli de Tugbio, as you bid a first world, farewell to the Ambassador Jackson, may I, on behalf of the government and the people of Ghana, express our profound appreciation to you and the ABLE team for supporting the government before, during, and after the elections to this particular day. Your immense contributions and personal commitment to deepening of Ghana-U.S. relations will forever remain in our hearts, in our minds. I wish, on behalf of His Excellency the President, to say, Aiko. Finally, let me reaffirm government's commitment to maintaining Ghana's long-standing friendship relationship between the United States of America and the people of this good country. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, may I now invite you all to join me in proposing a toast to the good health of President Donald J. Trump and to the government and people of the United States of America. Long live Ghana. Long live United States Ghana relationship. Your Excellencies, there is no better time to be a Ghanaian. And to be a Ghanaian, this is a better time for us all. Thank you.